Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, The Ninth Cup, where all of my readings focus on your soul's destiny and everything you can do to embody your soul's purpose. For those of you who are current subscribers, welcome back. Thank you so much for sharing your energy with me and um, subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate it. For those of you who are new, welcome. My name is Karen Michelle Yorwood. I'm an intuitive guidance counselor and I help people like yourself along the Ascension journey. So I'm coming here today to share um, energies for another transit that I actually forgot off of my Magic Monday post and I'm not sure how I missed it. Um, it is the Mars-Saturn conjunction in Aquarius. So this conjunction um, is pretty interesting because we have Mars, which is, um, you know, the energy, the planet of destruction and initiation and action, new beginnings. Um, it really is about our persona, about, you know, having the, the drive to see things through or at least to start things, maybe not see it through. But, you know, high vibrational Aries, Mars energy is seeing things through, getting things done, taking initiative, leading. Um, but the low vibrational energy can be a little bit impulsive. So it just depends on, you know how you uh, receive that energy, how you're using it, how the energy shows up in your own natal chart. But then there's Saturn, which is about restrictions, limitations, authority. Um, it is more of a mature energy, it's slower. Um, Saturn is the god of time, so it's grounded. It's systematic, practical, pretty opposite to Mars. And again, they're conjoining in the sign of Aquarius, um, air sign. Uh, now the good thing is Saturn is the ancient ruler of Aquarius, so he's right in one of his domiciles, rules, um, Capricorn as well as the ancient ruler of Aquarius but Mars um, conjoining here with this energy that's slower that's more you know practical and paced can cause a little bit of friction um, so you can feel this in terms of um, feeling like you're stuck feeling like you're making headway on something but maybe there are just some um, some blockages some uh, obstacles that kind of get in your way and so it can be a little bit frustrating however i will say that there is also an upside to that frustration or feeling stuck usually it means that there's something bigger and better brewing or there's something that's going to go the distance right that's saturnian energy something that's going to be um maybe a little bit more of high value or something that's going to stick again it's going to be long term it's going to have longevity to it whereas mars can be right here and right now it's more quick it's fire energy okay and saturn is the earth energy so just think about that um, in terms of where aquarius is in your chart for me it's the 10th house so that is my career house okay so i actually don't really feel this with my uh, career but more so with my finances so maybe it's the same for you um, look and see what house that this transit is affecting and that's going to be the area of life that you might feel again a little bit of restriction feeling stuck feeling like things aren't um, going as quickly or as successfully as you would like so let's get um Let's get a three card spread. I'll I'll wrap up with oracles this time. I won't start with oracles, I'll wrap up. So I am using the Familiar's Tarot deck. I'm just here for um, kind of a quick reading. We'll see what spirit wants to channel through me. So let's do um, current situation. Yeah, Nine of Wands. So the Battle Weary card, Nine of Wands. And I think this, this energy came out in the um, Magic Monday as well. I didn't use this deck, but I think the Nine of Wands was definitely in that spread. So coming down the home stretch here, right? But before you get to that 10, there's more things to consider or maybe one more important thing to consider. And maybe that thing is what's holding up the completion, getting to that final step. That's the 10 of Wands. That's the culmination. That's the ending, the completions, the offloading, um, you know, all the burdens or all of whatever it is that you have been needing to carry or complete to get to some ending of some sort. It's a general reading, so apply how it, how it resonates. Okay, so kind of... Uh, definitely relevant here this nine of wands energy again because it's it's like this energy of you are exerting yourself but you're not quite completing something right so there's that mars energy the the movement energy but then the saturnian energy is kind of restricting a final step or um, slowing you down in some way so what's the obstacle or what do we need to be aware of at this time Queen of Cups, opening up the heart, maybe being a little bit more compassionate, more understanding. I'm going to get one clarifier for that. I like the fact that that image is an owl. So this is about the wisdom, right? The owl, and I think that his claws are on, it looks like a locket down here below. 
Okay, and you can see the big beautiful moon lit up behind him. Looks like a full moon, right? So that is more feminine energy, the moon energy. So it's really going within, you know, going within, sinking into your heart space. And I think you could find some insight in terms of just where you are in a particular endeavor, a journey, um, project, um, relationship. Again, apply it how it resonates. And I think with this Queen of Cups energy, it's like it's going to illuminate what you have maybe been neglecting or what have has been in your blind spot. Not necessarily the meaning of the Queen of Cups. Again, I'm channeling intuitively and as it relates to this particular transit. So with the Nine of Wands and the Queen of Cups being side by side, again, it's like you've been moving, you've been exerting yourself, you've been, you know, checking off all the boxes and getting things done. That's great. But maybe you've been neglecting on how you feel. Um, you know, you haven't been paying attention to how, you know, your end goal, how you want to feel with your end goal. How do you want to feel with accomplishing whatever it is that you're looking to accomplish, right? Instead of just kind of honing in on getting that thing done, that um, that goal, reaching that goal, attaining that award, whatever it is, looking at how that's going to make you feel, how that's going to raise your vibration and your frequency. So that's what I see here for what needs to really need to be come into your awareness a little bit more. Um, so let's look at potential outcomes or resolutions. Oh, I said I was going to get a clarifier for the Queen of Cups. Sorry, got sidetracked with the explanation there. Channeling. Let's get one clarifier for Queen of Cups and then we'll get um, an energy or energies for resolution or outcome. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, so feeling left out in the cold, abandonment. Um, and I think that this Queen of Cups energy is going to maybe help you heal or, you know, because this is feminine energy. So it's going to maybe be a little bit more nurturing and you know comforting to times where maybe you have felt like you are not enough right because the five of um five of pentacles energy excuse me is an energy of lack of you know not receiving what you're worth but this could all be internal and i'm getting that probably from that moon you know that moon image of the moon and the queen of cups is really speaking to me it's like moon energy is hidden right it's what's in shadow so what maybe you have placed aside and you've neglected is looking at where you have felt um, less than, right, or not enough. So with this Mars-Saturn conjunction, again, it, it could be bringing up topics that you need to pay more close attention to, and that's gonna give you the initial, I mean, the, the final push, right, to complete something or to get something through. And, and remember, it's in the sign of Aquarius, and Aquarius is about the future. It is about, um, you know, being unconventional, yes, but also um, hopeful and, and sinking into your dreams and doing everything you need to accomplish those dreams in community with others as well. So if this is not your energy, this could be the energy of a partner or the people you're around. Okay, but I am intuitively getting that it is your energy if this reading is resonating for you. So let's look at your outcome or resolution. One, yeah, Six of Cups is a, uh, the card that flipped out. So this is reciprocity. This is equal give and take. Um, this is also uh, childhood energy, right? Soulmate energy or just energies from your childhood. So if you have felt abandoned, neglected, or left out, um, insecure, and that is you know linked to your childhood, this could be a great time to really look at that a little bit more closely and do the work around it too. Um, I think Mars oftentimes isn't associated with healing or, you know, but it is the planet of action, you know? So as it relates to where you have felt lack or not enough, maybe you can take action in areas of your life where those feelings have presented themselves. So is it with your connections? Is it with your friend groups? Is it with um, your career or with your talents? Um, is it with your physicalities? Again, so look and see where Aquarius is in your charts. And that house maybe can give you some insight on where the work needs to be done, where the movement needs to take place. Okay. And Saturn will, um, Saturn actually awards hard work. So um, I think the, the cosmos is going to be supportive of that. Let's get one more to clarify the six of cups. Six of pentacles. Perfect. Perfect. Two sixes, excuse me. And this is a progression. So we go from the five to the six. And today is four, five, six. I didn't say that in the intro. So today's April 5th, 
2022. So if you add all the twos in 2022, that equals a six. So it's four, five, six. This is progression. This is ascension. This is going forward. So and here it is in the reading. We don't have a four, but we do have five, six, two sixes. So 66 could be, could be significant for some of you at this time, um, but more reciprocity, more balance. And the six of pentacles could be the self-worth, the resources coming in. If you're waiting on money, if you're waiting on contracts, that kind of thing could come in for you um, this week. Because remember, we also have the Jupiter and um, Venus conjunction in Pisces. So in Pisces is the sign following Aquarius, right? So that is ascension right there or progression right there, going from Aqua to Pisces, so to speak, in your charts. So this Mars Saturn is happening in Aquarius. The Jupiter Pisces is happening in Pisces. So it's kind of like, you know, go through the, the hardships or the, the obstacles now. And the sweet spots are right in the sign ahead. But this is all happening this week. So think about it in terms of how you are taking action, right? So maybe you go through the things that, you, that are really tough, that don't feel so well, but you have Jupiter and Venus, you know, and beautiful Pisces, you know, which is about healing and it's the dream world and it's illusions and it's lofty and soft and, you know, so beautiful. So this is what's here for you. This is what's available for you. Um, I think this is great. I don't know if I should get another three card spread. Let's go ahead and wrap up with oracles. I'm going to get life purpose. I'm going to get three life purpose oracles. And see what else is here. I just wanted to come on for a really brief, simple reading for this transit. Hope you're having a beautiful day whenever you're seeing this. Strength. It's Leo energy. But everything you experience in your life has made you strong and courageous, right? So there's that Mars energy, that nine of wands energy, you know, doing the work, exerting yourself. And I think many of you have gotten stronger, more resilient, um, more capable, despite maybe having these uh, feelings or energies of in the five of pentacles, right, of lack. It's like you've grown so much stronger. And I think Source is here to say, you know, really pat yourself on the back, give yourself the credit you deserve because you've really done a lot of work and you've really come a long way. This could even be like in, just in your emotional body, right? It doesn't have to be anything external facing. This could just be in how you see yourself, managing your emotions and processing things. Uh, what else? Practice. Polish your skills by practicing regularly. Remember I said about doing work, Saturn rewards hard work. So some of you could be practicing a particular trade. Um, maybe even like not physically practicing, but you could be looking at like how to videos or reading manuals, things like that on how to kind of refresh your knowledge of, of a particular skill or how to teach something. I just got that intuitively. If you're teaching others, you might need to be looking at um, the knowledge or like the, the information that you're teaching to others in some capacity, maybe so that they can practice. So really specific message, but I got that for somebody. All right. What else? Um, sensitivity. There's that Pisces energy. You're becoming more sensitive and need to make changes accordingly. So becoming more sensitive for me, that just means you're becoming more aware. You're tapped in and tuned in. Bottom of the deck is let go. Walk away from this situation in order to resolve it. So um, in the beginning of the reading, I was saying that the Saturnian energy can make you feel restricted or, you know, there are obstacles that could pop up. The let go um, could be tied into that Queen of Cups energy is just letting go and surrendering, um, going into the more feminine side of yourself, which is receptivity. OK, and that's where the answers and that's where the keys and all of the um, you know nuggets of wisdom are going to come in to give you that final push for, you know, after this nine of wands energy. Right. So it's coming down the home stretch or it's like, you know, archetypally speaking, kind of ending something, but um, needing to let kind of let go of it kind of loosen your grip from it so that you can move forward, right? And, and amongst all of that could be also healing and, you know, resolving the issues of lack and um, not feeling good enough, you know, if that's creeping up for you at this time. Um, but give yourself the credit you, you deserve. Strength is here. Give yourself your own accolades, your own round of applause, your own pat on the back as well. All right, so that's what I have for you. I'm gonna leave it here, short and sweet. Um, my links are down below if you like a personal reading. If you're not subscribed to the channel and this is your kind of thing, please do uh, like the video if something here resonates. And I do hope to see you guys in the next reading. Be sure to thrive. Bye.